Welcome back, Ryan Thompson here with Pyro CMS, and it's time to deploy this project to our remote in order for our content team to start working with it. So from this point, um, schema changes are gonna be minimal. Um, I'll, I'll likely do them within the UI. For example, uh, we won't need to run migrations for anything. Um, the site's still in staging, so the content truth like the the single point of truth or whatever is going to be on the remote so as the content team is deploying things um i might check out the database and work with it just to see like what they're what they're working with um but for all intents and purposes i'll be able to work separately on my local environment and push code changes up or make code changes within blocks if i want to um, and this is kind of where the choice of you know do we want to manage the html directly within blocks like you can or do you want to use the blocks module to for example for the content or wrapper you can include um, a theme file and drive it all from bcs all from your your theming system and on this particular build we just kept it in the uh, in the CMS, we've got content editors that are comfortable with HTML and know what they're doing. So to give them a little bit of freedom frees up my time and it helps distribute this work a little bit um, because not all of our content developers are versed with Git and uh, the whole versioning system and you know the local environment and stuff. So as a front end uh, developer uh, or a content developer rather, um, lowers the barrier to accessing and managing some of this stuff so there's pros and cons with it but for us this works well um, there's a, a numerous ways to do it though this is just one example we might explore other examples uh, in, in future builds so uh, we deploy just using an envoy file and um, first thing I'm really going to do then is pop that open and correct it for the PHP version that we use on the remote and the locations and stuff. So your site would be GYN group and anywhere it says PHP 7.2 composer. All that looks good. So now I'm going to So now I'm going to, uh, let's see, add everything. And so in the, in the background, before I started this video, I did do a couple sensitive things um, just so I didn't have to cut it out of the video. Um, I logged in, we use virtual min to manage this particular host in our virtual servers. So I created a new uh, virtual server using the primary domain, and then I created an alias for obgyn.terrastar.com that we'll use for staging and preview and letting the content team work. Um, and then I also created, I moved my .env file from my local here upward and replaced it with the correct uh, password and everything. So what I'm going to do now basically is take the local uh, tables, the local database, and dump it. Downloads is fine. And I'm going to import it into our remote database. Uh, da, 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 da. And then I'm going to, um, let's see. I'm going to initialize our remote. And if we look, we've already got things here, including a public HTML, so I'm going to get init initialize a new repository, get remote add origin. Fetch everything. 
uh, I've also already added my SSH keys and I also um, came over here and authenticated uh, GitHub using this command so that I can pull in um, pro add-ons. Yeah, so let's see, git branch. Let's do all of them real quick. Check out MD master. There it is. We'll do a, an empty push in order to bind it to that. So let's see, we can run. Uh, prefer, prefer, okay, that should do good. Um, so I've done that, so we can pull in add ons. Um, Let's see. Let's see if it was an installation. I can never remember host configuration. That's what it's under. Alternate directories. So this one. I need to remove the public HTML directory, uh, which is common for like cPanel and virtual min and things like that. I'm going to open up a new terminal. So I'm going to remove the empty and replace it with what I've got. That one's done. We'll let this continue to up, uh, install. Um, ah, shoot, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to mark the env file real quick uh, uninstalled. Installed equals false. And then when this is done, oh, it's done. Ah, that's right. Got weirdness here. Um, I might have to update our host real quick. Edit server configuration, PHP versions. Edit the right server here. I'm just doing this off screen. I need to edit the server configuration, PHP versions, and uh, no, no, that's the right. So, yep, this should work. There we go. Cool. Let this do its thing. So, let's see. We've got that done. We've pushed, we've pulled on the remote. We're installing dependencies. Our database connection is established our database is still uploading along with everything else so once that finishes up then we'll be set and from here um, it should be pretty smooth sailing I'll do another video after this closer to launch. Um, if I have anything interesting coming up during like revisions and stuff, I'll record that. But when we get closer to launch, um, I'll go over some of the caching directives and do some like uh, pre-launch optimization, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, after this gets installed, we'll log in. And then we also have to, we've got a, a little bit, let's see.
we've got some uploads here and basically what I'm going to do is just dump these into the images folder and dump that into the, the documents as far as like going to the files module and uploading and I'll select yes it's okay to override because they don't exist there but the entry does exist from our database so um, all of the relations and stuff will stay intact all I have to do is dump those up once this is finished looks like it's almost done I will uh, mark installed again uh, actually I take that back I'll run this compile there we go Just generating all the loaded files I think I did no dev so that shouldn't pull in much Okay, there we go. Now we're going to, I've got this other terminal open, we're going to compile that P372. Okay, I'm going to take this off screen and mark installed again. Installed equals true. Go ahead and close that. PHP artists in the streams. Compile. This is just a good verification to see that the uh, database and connection is working and everything's working in a installed and live mode. So no issues there. We should be able to log in. There we go. Grab the password. Oh. Yep, go ahead. So first thing I want to do is put this thing into maintenance mode and I'll add my IP um, I'll add my IP in a moment and then we'll really go over files We'll open two new tabs, one to upload into images. And another one for the document, just for testing purposes. There we go. Cool. So that's that. Um, if I log out, I should be greeted with a 503. Yep. Debug mode is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now as well. It's locked to the environmental file. App debug, remove that. Debug bar, remove that. Perfect. And I'm just going to make sure the debug bar is off because that can cause some issues sometimes.
Cool. There you have it. Ready to go. I'll hand this off to my content team and we'll see what becomes of it. If I've got anything cool to record um, as far as changes or anything, I'll do that. Otherwise, um, the last video in this particular series will end up being optimization for um, pre-launch. So I'll catch you guys then.